praise the Lord. We give God and praise for this another time that we have been granted the privilege to minister the word of God to his people and even to the world at large. We want to go before the Lord in prayer as we begin today's service. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we give thanks and praise to you. We bless you for the gift of life that we have, and even the gift of sight that we could see. We thank you for the gift of even hearing. We are so grateful to you for the move of your spirit in our lives and in our time and in our world. We know God is still in control over all situations. We thank you, God, for the control of you, Lord, over this COVID-19, my Lord, all over the world, and especially in this nation. We know you are still in control. You do care. But for today, may you bless us to your word. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. And then so, yet what, yet you add this, you know, as so, and yet, as a tree, if I, yet, as a tree, and then, yet, it also, me, and son, yet, didn't come out, if I, but I, yet, see, and so, I have to think, say, yes, share, yen, a booth, a corner, and I say, yes, share, a comb, a dean, a no, a so, a comma, a dean, so say, a year who no mu com, and now who mu com, and now a comb beer, a ye tinker, a was sitting, any abrabuin, a he say, when ye, na yes, yes, so, a bra, ye heard ye by yes, to Christ or so on, so he brim, and son, all the shiny jimmy, dear, see, I was serene, so mra. I want to know what's on your way. Now, you just say, "Be a happy dream." You need a buy a house. You need a tea. You can a come one. Yeah, yeah, patchre. Ah, asi. God has given us the privilege once again to look into uh, this topic, which is still under consideration. That is, control the hunger. Control the hunger. By the grace of God, we've been able to explain hunger. What we mean. Within the context that we are operating, that when we talk of hunger, it is not only the strong desire for physical food, but hunger is a yearning, it's a longing, or a desire for anything in life, be it spiritual, be it physical, or even emotional, anything that we long for, anything that has become an appetite within us and we crave for, we desire to get hold of and uh, 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 that will satisfy our hung hungry soul. And that is hunger. And uh, by the grace of God, we've considered Matthew chapter 4, the first four verses, which recalls the temptation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After his baptism in River Jordan, he was led by the Holy Spirit to go into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, by the devil. And Jesus, during his temptation, overcame all the temptations that Satan uh, brought to him in the wilderness. And we are taking some lessons from that. Last time, we ended with the, how Jesus overcame his temptation. And I was able to establish that there were some resources that Jesus had which enabled him to overcome the temptation posed by the devil. And uh, I first said, Jesus came into the scene with a mindset. He had the mind, one, to obey the Father, to do the Father's will, not his will, not any other person's will, but the will of the Father. Then we also looked at the fact that Jesus relied on the power of the Holy Spirit, which was one of the resources that he had, the power of the Holy Spirit. For we read from Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, where the Bible says Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan. So the leadership of the Holy Spirit was seen in the life of Jesus, and Jesus followed 
the leadership of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit was with Jesus, even in his temptation. And uh, his reliance on the power of the Holy Spirit gave him the grace to overcome that temptation. And again, when we read Luke chapter 4, verse 1, what we read from Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, was also repeated in Luke chapter 4, verse 1, that Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. And then Luke chapter 4, verse 14, after the temptation, Luke records that Jesus came out from the wilderness full of the Holy Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit. And so we see Jesus overcame the temptation because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Then the third resource that we looked at was the power of the word of God. The power of the word of God. In all the three temptations that Jesus brought to him in the wilderness, Jesus quoted the scripture. It is written. It is written. So the mindset of Christ to do only the will of God and the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of the word of God. Emre and you no no pe and then nipe biara pe a janun kuto pe and obaso obey sans and yeah chro a fa or no yesu na obaso obema a japa ya chro fan who said ye can can free Hebrews chapter four verse twelve for no and no no idea obehe ye and yan nipe sa jin ya yesu ye ye se on a sitting em ni ministry emono a jano pen kuto any idea so many bono a sin impo a com any adrianino ma yesu it me di en so he no so adwen ye ye to sumie no e ye hohun konkon to me na ye wuri se ngoku ne di na ni me kan kon sere no so na ye wuri se o free se no so no ba no konkon so e kan no hye no ma ti na sere no so no hohun konkon kan yesu hohun na yesu no ho to hohun konkon no so se de ye kan kan free ma ti un sempa 18 and 9 mu ba ko eni luke and sempa 18 9 mu ba ko eni eni mu du and now you know, I will look and send panel. Now, on Concrono, a can yes, na yes, you didn't want to on Concrono and who are dear or the man on the so. Now, could you toss me and sir? You hear, yeah, yeah, to me, a walk, yammy, a simu. To me, a walk, yammy, a simu. One prem, me and sir, upon some beso on the hair, you know. Yes, you a din, a whole two yammy, a sum so. Catch it up on some say, watch your old say, watch your old say, watch your old say. Na unyame ya sema ya chulo enuna yesu enuna yesu ba se obe ye nunti ema utimidi enso heno eso di we ni biya ye di si ye nanwa yeshia ye mra na ye we how Jesus overcame how Jesus overcame the temptation and even the hunger the hunger senia yesu edi a common so inkunim enuna ye we today we still continuing by giving you about six examples, biblical examples of people who also experience some kind of hunger in their lives at one time or another. And how these people, I mean, sought to satisfy that hunger and what happened to them later on based on the approach or the method that they use. So looking at Controlling the hunger. Controlling the hunger. So, if God, I mean, gives us the time, we will look at the six examples. Three from each of the testaments that we will be reading today and that we will look at how some people also behaved, how they conducted themselves when they felt uh, that bodily desire in them, which is hunger. How they sought to satisfy that. And then so, mra ye to asono, efa ye di ye komisono, ye ye nyoma be, an ye suwa, en ye nipa be in siya, e wo chiro se mwa, wo un so, wo kwa yi ba kwa na, e kwa yi fufro bi sono, o nyan kombi wo wa sitra ni wa brabomu, 
and you can't almost fast to sell Mubinia and we ye a massa a common one a de won't know and any soon sansoir a de bre won't. You're very nipanumi and sat a free apam that dynamo. You're very nipanumi and sat a free apam for frunumo. Now your paddy shabby a free mo or the abimon so ye a radi yesu de ye who say a com deno. Now with me de na corner and a common or so. Na wama e komuna mana nye di wu nyame mpe amfen sin sanso o boni amre no. E nipe bi su o bai bu mu, o mu su kombi di wong wabra bu mu, o pri bi bi, o kila afyushe bi bi, no o kon do bi bi. De kwa nya, o mo fa suwa, o mo pe suwa, o mo be nyani ya, o mo pe, ni ni sin sanso a e ba ye. Ya no, eni a dia, ye we. So that is our consideration for today. Unfortunate examples from scriptures. Unfortunate examples from uh, scriptures. The first group of people that we will look at uh, is Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. We will read uh, their story from Genesis chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Genesis chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. And I want to take that of Adam and Eve uh, story from the New Living Translation. From Genesis chapter 3 verses 5 and six the bible reads genesis 3 verse 5 and 6 god knows that let's let us read uh, from verse 4 from verse 4 genesis chapter 3 from verse verse 4 to 6 you won't die the serpent replied to the woman god knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil, the woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious and she wanted the wisdom it will give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it too. And he ate it too. Mose a woman edikana Genesis eti miensa e yimu nai kusinsia ye fe nipakua edikanya omu su kombi di wone kwaya omu fasua omu yesu omu besu so omu komono anu a eye Adam eni hawa na Eve na making kanchu Bible no kanchu e yense wonu so e komu di wong emra obu nsamba e omu besu so no omu fe ye Na ochire won se um wo mungu ane no mun ti bi aba nya mi si mo mun ti bi ni no eni ane o mi si da bi aba ni de ifu se nya mi ma kwan se wo mun ni pu mo mun fo mun sanka ane o bon sam si won se enye wo ena mo be wo na o nyankopon ni mi se ada mo be di bi aba ni bi no mo ni wa ebe bue na mo nso ma hunu papa eni bone se de o nya mi etie no Sana monso mobembe mu papa eni boni bible sinti obano ayunu sanu se duaba no eye fe na eya akono ema nipadua no nti no na fe betima ma na nya nyansa se o nyankopon no oti aduaba no na odi na odi bi ma ni kuno o no nchen o no suti edi na odi duaba ni wi ye no ye nyina ni mu ya efri mu eba ye se anokwasem ni enye wani ene buoye and yet, young son and woman, yes, I'm a year so in your me. The woman who no one a deja and a woman who ye and yet, no, 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 do you me a young in an unsum wombo? Or when somebody are cono be two or mum won't say, Yammy is a man woman ne pen ye. Ain't he omo betting me so I ye so yammy to a more per se, almost a young yammy be. Now move this out a coin of when somebody man wants to almost so omo betting my bay so in yameno. Oh, my me, you yammy, name momono, said you yammy bow, the crown almost shine. Now omo bay, nipper bonnet, a bar, womu. So this is the account 
uh, of Adam and Eve when Satan came to them with a temptation because God has already given them everything in the Garden of Eden and they had God with them visiting them in the cool of the day but Satan came to them and tried to make them feel like God is cheating on them because when the devil asked Eve why don't you take this uh, fruit and eat from this tree and then the Eve told the devil no we are forbidden to eat this food, not even to touch it. And Satan said, no, you won't die when you eat from this tree. And he said, when you eat this fruit from this tree, you will be like God, knowing good from evil. You will become wise as God, knowing good and evil. And so Eve looked at the, tree, the fruit on the tree intently, and realize that ah, it is good to the eyes. And the tree also, when you taste of it, it will be pleasant. And then finally, the conclusion of Eve was that if I partake of this fruit, I will become like God. I will be wise, just as God is wise. So the Bible says he took it and then he ate it and gave some to the husband who also did not question but also partook of it. But later on, they didn't become like God as they desired to be, as they hungered for, as they tested for, as they longed for, as they yearned for. Rather, they saw their nakedness. They became depraved. In fact, they even were reduced from their po uh, former position where God placed them, people who have been created in God's likeness and then God's image, they were reduced in nature. They became depraved. And so that was their end. After trying to satisfy their hunger through that blatant disregard for the word of God. And that is what became of them. Yehunu, Adam and Eve, Omo did we have any way, you know? Omo tibi asote. Na, omo boni ba wumu. Chanse, kwa yon omo fa asu anu, ni tia unyame asem. Na omo suye, omo vien se, omo be kon suwa ya diye, tia unyame asem. Na omo akon wa enya diye, omo kon do, omo kera epe. Na omo ni jie vye peye. E me omo ni mo unyame asem. Akon no, ekon mo nun ti, ekon mo se omo be nye se unyame tiye no. Enti, we know it in the New Testament that even God wants us to be like him. Bible says that we should be holy just as even God is holy. And Jesus said we should become like him. But Paul wrote in the book of Romans that even those whom God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of of Christ. So Jesus is our standard. So becoming like Jesus or God is not a sin, but the approach, the method we apply, the process we go through, our motive, and how we go about the whole thing. That becomes the problem. Feeling hungry, later on we will learn, it's not a sin, but the way we satisfy that hunger in us. In the case of Adam and Eve, they wanted to be like God. But guess what? Who gave them that idea? Who was instructing them? It was the devil who came to Jesus in the wilderness and trying to make them feel like God was cheating on them. And they wanted to, on their own way, through their own means, become like God. But they disobeyed the word of God. They knew it but they disobeyed it. And the end result was disastrous. It affected humanity. It affected humanity. So that is the first consideration that we're looking at. The second one, we're taking it from Satan himself, who was called Lucifer in the Bible. Satan himself. From Isaiah chapter 14, reading from verse 12 to 15. Isaiah chapter 14, reading from verse 12 to to 15. How you are falling from heaven, O shining star, son of the morning. You have been thrown down to the earth, you who destroyed the nations of the world. 
verse 13. Isaiah 14, verse 13. Let's move on, verse 13. Are you with me? Let's turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 14. We're reading from verse 12. Going. Isaiah 14. Let's take it again. How you are falling from heaven. Oh, shining star, son of the morning. You have been thrown down to the earth. You who destroy the nations of the world. For you said to yourself, listen to this. We know this prophecy, I mean, is also referred to Satan and how he fell from glory and then he came down on earth because of the attitude that he displayed in heaven. And this is what we have been able to capture and the Bible writers have given to us about the attitude of Lucifer. As Isaiah giving us this message. Verse 14. For you said to yourself, I was sent to heaven and set my throne above God's stars. I will proceed on the mountain of the gods far away in the earth. I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the most high. And be like the most high. Verse 14. Instead, you will be brought down to the place of the dead down to its lowest depths. You see? So Satan also in his attempt to become like God and even above God, he had that hunger in him to have a taste what it would be like oh, being God, sitting on the seat of God, on the throne of God and even above him, acting God how it will be like. He had that yearning in his spirit. He had the, that yearning in his soul, that longing, that strong desire. He had that appetite to be like God, to take the place of God. God even though God created him, I don't know what came to his mind, what made him to think that he could rise up against the creator, but yet it became a longing in his soul, a desire, a hunger in Lucifer. To the extent the Bible records that he was able to deceive one third of the heavenly beings, meaning the angels, one third of the heavenly beings, the angels um, followed the devil and through revolt, they acted against God and to rise up against God, to engage God in a warfare, in a battle. But who can fight God? Rather, Bible gives us his, I um, mean, what he rather received from it. God brought him down. He was thrown away from heaven. He lost his former position. He lost it and became the devil, Satan who is to live with us down here on earth. And that is why we have the devil with us here. He desired God's position through rebellion. Through rebellion. You might have a legitimate need, but make sure that what you are doing is in line with the teachings of the scriptures, which is the constitution of the kingdom. The Tosum Yenua area, Lucifer, Lucifer, and the name is all Satan. Was Zaya, woman, or a tea, do nine, mu do me no, a cosi, do no, or slay and pefe, senior, or bon sam, a shea, say, dear Benimu, our shea, say, or my young woman, senior. O nyame to no twene ye free so no ananka o ye nsunoma shremfo nyame to ne twene na o ye nsunoma shremfo shrein se nsunoma o shrein anopate se adechiye o na na ho ofe ebi ni be biara ebiem na nso ato na twene abasa se so e free suru o no ana o ha ma na man adenti no nyame ye ni sa e yimu du me nsa ni se so, so, who catch it? Who say? Who can verse 14 now? Verse 13 now. Or she says, Who catch it? Who say? Mefuro a consul musro. Bebia unyan coupon sumano a wo a hona mequa cotina. Neho and a me be poor a yonya may be porno sono. A hona metina bebia a crow a sin if a chain and now for a ho and open some barco a barco tina to a man who so. No page ni mono Bible say or pensu or yet is or so so ni no to be like the most high then so the onya in then say your brain I say na ye ye home ye pamuni free so a basa say so so we see the account of Lucifer who became Satan or the devil 
and how he became the evil person because of a hunger that he experienced the desire in his soul to become like God and to rise up above the stars of God and to be like God, the Most High God. But the means that he used was a revolt. He stood against God. He rebelled against God. He deceived one third of the uh, angels in heaven and they rose up against God. But God th threw him down on earth from heaven. And that became his lot. And the place has been prepared for him with the bottomless pit. On the last day we know that will be his lot and all his followers. And so you see, Yehunu said, so of us obey Satan. And the next person we're looking at is a young man um, who was a prince and uh, who would be a, he could have been a great person could have a great ministry in his life but because of his attitude and because of the way he sought to satisfy his hunger he also missed everything and he could not even begin his ministry he died an untimely death and this young man in the bible is called absalom it's called absalom the son of uh, david absalom also acted in a manner that was ungodly against god's elect because he was also hungry to ascend the throne of his father but it didn't work for him rather he lost his life and again like that of lucifer some people followed him including the counselor of his father david he followed him he departed from david and followed him and this is the young man absalom we're talking of we will read his accounts from second samuel chapter 15 from verse 1 to 4 second samuel chapter 15 1 to 4 doctor sumi and say yeah we are tuning in front of absalom absalom so we david the bar nanka wa ye uh or hini ba god and oba ba ye or hini nan so subani ni ye be a burn you mu mire bi wun tunya a kombi burn you mu na kwen o fasu se kwame dinu no o be main o be fasu no one main ni hono nan ye kwam papa o so tue tia nan ye ye no o we a mra nan se senka o wo wan se fred jume diya wun yame fred senka obe di wasa si so o wo ni mran ti brim ya 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 now we ni Absalom. Ye kin kai na semu or samu wo me tosu mi enu eti dunum e yi mu ba kon ekosi enan samu wo me tosu mi enu eti uh dunum e yi mu ba kon ekosi. So we read the English version. Uh English by English Bible. Second Samuel 15:1 to 4. After this, Absalom bought a chariot and horses and he hired 50 bodyguards to run ahead of him. Hold it there. We will take that one again. And it's good to learn a lot of things from these things because these have been written for our example. After this, when you talk of after this, it means that something had already taken place. And once when you go back and read the chapters before this, you realize that Absalom disobeyed his father. And his father was looking for him. He ran away for some time. People pleaded with the father to go and bring back the prince. Later on, David allowed Absalom, his son, to come back. But when he came back, then he set his eye on his father's throne. He set his eye on his father's throne. Because first, he murdered his brother and he ran away. And then, David pardoned him. He brought him back to Jerusalem. But when he came, this is what he decided to do. He eyed the throne of his father. That's why the Bible says after this, after he had been pardoned, after he had been brought back, after he has been, I mean, he has been reinstated as the prince heir to the throne. 
This is what Absalom did. Because there was yearning in his spirit. There was hunger within him. And the way he followed to satisfy that hunger was very unfortunate. So after this, Absalom bought a chariot and horses. And he hired 50 bodyguards to run ahead of him. Verse 2. He got up early every morning and went out to the gate of the city. When people brought a case to the king for judgment, Absalom would ask where in Israel they were from and they would tell him their tribe. You see, people will be traveling from all over the place and then to come to David, the father of Abraham, the king, who was the king, and so that David would judge their cases for them. And so, because Absalom was, I mean, trying to make himself king instead of uh, in, uh, his father, he, 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 he tried to, in a way, plant something in the minds of people who were coming to his father for settlement of cases. So when he, he will meet you before you get to his father and ask you where you are from, you tell him, I'm from this tribe or that tribe, and this is my problem, I'm bringing it to your father, this is what is going to um, seeking that your father will judge justly for me. Let's read on and see uh, the Absalom, what he did with these people. Then Absalom will say, verse 3, then Absalom was, would say, you have really got a strong case here. It's too bad. The king doesn't have anyone to hear it. I wish I were the judge. Listen to that. I wish that is the hunger he felt. I wish I were the judge. Then everyone could bring their cases to me for judgment. And I would give them justice. Stabbing the father at the back. See, Absalom said, Now why in the world to my amount? Oh, Oh, When you have time, you just continue to read from verse 5. When you have time. Because we don't have much time at our disposal. Then Absalom will be doing this. Bible says after some time. He won the hearts of the people to, unto himself. And he will turn them away from David. Made them to hate his father. David. And it was a plan ten. You see the way he was. I mean pursuing to satisfy the hunger within him. The Absalom. When you come here, we so Bible no chire and say what kind to us suffer any more no no kwa. We see the control maybe a Absalom for Crown or minor kuma ni na ba ono ni change. Now we you want free David so as I say, well yes she say yeah after joy is as the result of some people's sorrow, and that is not a good thing. If you want joy, there is a better way for you to gain joy to get it than to inflict pain on people, to hurt people, so that when the pe- some people are sad, they are in 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 so this was the situation of Absalom. It got to a point, Bible says that Absalom also rose up against the father. He staged a coup d'etat. And then he had people following him because you remember he had money, he bought himself chariot, horses, and even raised bodyguards, people to fight for him. And Absalom, Absalom made his own father left Jerusalem, left the palace, left, I mean the throne. He made him to leave the place and run to another city. And he stayed there for some time. In other words, Absalom enthroned himself, but it was short-lived. And he rose up against David. And David's soldiers will not take that. 
they went and fought with Absalom. And Absalom, I mean, died in the battle. He was so handsome. He was so handsome. Have this long hair down to, uh, from the hair down, down there. He was so hands, beautiful, handsome. That's what the Bible says. And his handsomeness, his good looking, that which was his asset, caused his downfall. Bible, he was running in the battle, and but his hair, long hair, get entangled in the branches of a tree, and that which the horse on which he was sitting was running, and then the hair got entangled. He was hung there, and maybe someone came and killed him. And so Absalom died this shameful and painful death. He didn't live to fulfill his purpose in life. Why? Because he was in a rush. He wanted to become a, 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 become a king whilst the father was still strong and alive. And God will not entertain that. I don't know how you are seeking to satisfy your hunger. Take the cue from all this that we are reading. These are unfortunate examples from the scripture as to how people, when they felt hungry, sought to satisfy their hunger. So who can trust them now? Absent on the way in here. Oh, sorry, Tia, ne papa. It's not so when you're dumb in it, you are yes, you can do it to me. Totti, I see a name, Ponko, and my few found a dumb mom and the bodyguards. Tim, maybe do or sorry, Tia, and Papa Johnny in the name, got to know for so and may be by name, Mritia, or born in one in it. Then so we need the beat, that's when you're mean, Pesa. And my nipper patia, see, or person who should be in any be. A comedy is so big, honey. A comedy will not be trying to change. And in the butter, you change. I'm in the bed. We are saying, oh, in the sank, oh, we in the branty, a brimo, in the sank, but I am or the buy. To any mono, David, as you have said, no, I'm on to now, Mark Ray, and in a dom, and yes, sir. I'm sorry. No, many absolutely, as you have focused, see anyone to come. Now, now, who are Bible standing, who are fed? The three new guni, the chisa, ten, ten, ten. Now, they are not in any more yum. Na <laughs> Obeshe sa akono no na wo wo di so. Isan se wuni mi se wo kwambi bro abeti mi ama ekomo a edi wo no wenya eduane. What are you yearning for? How do you see yourself? What are you aspiring to become? What do you intend to do? Even in the nation Ghana now this year is an election year. Politicians very soon. Now, the, the, the whistle will be blown for people to start their campaigning. You're going to hear a whole lot of things. People who are going to lie about people. Going to use several means. Why? Because they want to become some people. They want to also to become politicians. They also want to become people known to be MPs. Known to be presidents. Known to be whatever. And going to do a whole lot of things. And we're going to lie about people. Going to tell things that are not true. People are going to resort to other powers using divination, sorcery, or enchantment, or any other means. Because they want to become this or that. Ni pe be diatro eti anko fwa kansi me ni ma fanko fwa ebi be konuro so bosom so ebi kwa wa yon be diawu adentra omu so pese omu so ena omu omu ye huon obi pesu on maintain ni posisi omu so si da bi me sume ma wo a peri peri ebe ba why because various ambitions aspirations desires yearnings longings and hunger going to use all sort of means to achieve it to the extent that people have some people even will want to kill people they know 
It can happen anywhere. Not only in the world of politics. Even in the church. In the ministry. People undermining others. Even ministers in the church sometimes. I want to be this. This is my position. And I want to maintain it. No one should come near me. And people resort to a whole lot of tactics to maintain themselves. Others who also want to be there. And so they cannot wait for you to die. And so they have to use several means to get it. And in the, even in the church of Jesus Christ, people feel hungry for a whole lot of things and using diverse means to achieve it. What are you also hungry for as you listen to me? Beloved, check the hunger that is in you. Where are you in your attempt to satisfy that hunger? Where have you reached? Don't you think it's time for you to... I mean... Retreat, stop what you are doing. That pursuit to end it there because it's ungodly. And then do the right thing. Do the right thing. Impo a sorry ni munu make kase. A sorry ni mumpo. A kono be bre wahoa nipa enya pese. Wamu fa kwa bi bre sin womu sa ka di omu pe. Baby wa so obi manya jina bre bi a di na hono mu beso obi a ben wa mu ni mu no ma bebre omu ye ani di omu jiri so ma priya nyano omu so ebo homba ebi mu so pesa omu so ba ho omu so ne bayem peni fo ye nyam bre nche na u muansa o pe kwa u ro bebre a ye faso se ye so ye pesi ba ho bi a peri peri ye ni kwa boni bebre ni pat mi faso pesa a kono nu o peni a tinka ni ni je bi. Eh, eh, one imu pesi wo duru bebi no ne za ebeka na yemfa unyanko pongo kwa na mi busa wo se wa wuti eme wa huna kono akono be na hasi wo humo no akono be na di wo se se na akono be na wo fa susa sa akono no wo be me wa duru fa hiana mo wutu wa duru fa wo nyi ni se wo yu shemu yu shemu nyamia se mo eh wo be nyi se obesa wo chi no wa yeni wo se wo ye ah eh papa na wo pe kwa papa didi se di Yesu Kristo or pay quam papa did the above for the money, and you'll change, you know. One for the be a tear when you're mere some amount, one nanny pan, a mobile pan, when ni won't tear up on some. I didn't know who's opposite with tear up on some. I didn't know person why would tear on it. I didn't know person would tear up, nipper your disomia do for a genium, a foot you are somebody, my soon in perfect say, and you when you're me pen or no. I didn't know one chain, no one sandwich. I didn't know who per se would chat. I mean, his life was cut short. His vision purpose, I mean, his vision was aborted. He could not lead up to fulfill his purpose in life. And I don't think you want to become like Absalom. No! But this is the time. This is the time. We should consider our ways. So, these are the three examples for the sake of time I want to give to you from the Old Testament. Now, let's move on to the New Testament. In the New Testament, you see, you look into the scriptures, and first, I want to take the mother of James and John. The mother of James and John. You look at it, and you will not see uh, the hunger that was in them. But this, in this case, it was the mother who wanted her children to be in prominent positions in the kingdom of Christ. She had that longing. She had that hunger. She had that desire. Not for herself, but for her children. After all, when the children assume that position, she will indirectly benefit from it. And so, she went to Jesus. There Openij eh na kuma soa di eh kuma ne dinu all this soa onu di ye soa friend e man odi tu onu o menye honu o menye mani di di e di e anya boni se obi bepe bi papa ma uba ne kwenya o fashion ne nyonya me pe yen king king e nonso Matthew chapter twenty verse twenty from verse twenty to twenty two Matthew chapter twenty from verse twenty to twenty two then the mother of James and John the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons. She knelt respectfully to ask a favor. What is your request? He asked. She replied, In your kingdom, please let my two sons sit in places of honor next to you. One on your right and the other on your 
left verse 22 but jesus answered by saying to them listen to this because that is how i got to know that what the mother was asking for was not in line with the will of god even though it appeared to be harmless the request the mother was making looking for favor for her children it appeared to be legitimate but the answer jesus gave showed that it was against the will of god but jesus answered by saying to them you don't know what you are asking are you able to drink from the bitter cup of suffering i am about to drink oh yes they replied we are able let's continue reading verse 23 jesus told them you will indeed drink from my bitter cup but i have no right to say who will sit on my right or my left my father has prepared those places for the ones he has chosen you see jesus said why are you asking for this even i'm not in the position to de- de- i mean to determine that it is the father's prerogative i cannot give that place to anyone i'm not here to i mean uh, 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 give people positions in my kingdom that is not my duty that's not my responsibility so why are you asking for that don't do that let's think of the suffering that is coming and let leave the father's business to him so you see the mother had a desire but did not find out the will of god or did not even find out if that position jesus could give that position to that uh, the children and so that is it sometimes we might have some needs in our hearts we must approach we might we might approach people for favors for something or for some um, some kind of gifts or uh, anything but we fail to find out what the will of god is we only follow the hunger we only follow the desire we only want to satisfy the yearning in us without taking into consideration the will of the father no one can bend the hand of God, can twist it. No one can coerce Jesus. No one can manipulate Jesus. That's a Today, I want us to really draw our minds to what we need to do as believers, Christians, as we await the coming of Jesus Christ. When it comes to satisfy any form of hunger, in us could be anything could be anything i plead with you in the name of jesus christ let's check our ways let's consider and examine our ways and find out what we are doing whether we're doing the right things in this life the next person we're looking at second person in the new testament is what we the person we call diotrephes 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 story can be found from third john third john is just one chapter epistle and we're reading from verse 9 to 10 that is two verses verses 9 and 10 tell john it's just one chapter and we're reading verses 9 and 10 and this pe- person was a leader in the church in fact i don't know whether he was a leader but maybe he assumed a leadership position and wanted to entrench his position wanted to solidify it protect it and will not give room for anyone uh, so that the person will become more popular than him listen to what john said about diotrephes i wrote to the church about this but diotrephes who loves to be the leader refuses to examine refuses to have anything to do with us when i come i will report some of the things he is doing 
and the and the evil accusations he is making against us not only does he refuse to welcome the traveling teachers he also tells others not to help them and when they do help he puts them out of the church in other words he will excommunicate them this is due to the even in the church does this sound familiar Sometimes it becomes some of us our behavior in the church. He wanted to become, I mean, the leader. The leader. Other version says he desired to be preeminent among the rest. He wanted to be the, 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 the head of everybody in the church. He was always careful and concerned about position to be the preeminent one among them. And because of that, position because of that hunger in your telephase he ignored divine protocol he ignored divine protocols and what is the divine protocols i'm, I'm talking about what is that protocol it is that they, they should practice they should practice hospitality the itinerant evangelists when they are coming they come across they have to welcome them give them a place to sleep and then feed them and welcome them give them opportunities this Jotifus was not doing that he was not doing that and so because he doesn't want he didn't want anyone to come to church so that even the person will be given the puppet to preach and after the preaching the church members will say ah this person is very good your message you have been blessed he didn't want to hear any of that so he will not allow anyone to come he will not allow and if any other church member also entertain any preaching visitor any other leader sent by john and the apostles that person if you are a leader or a member in the church he will excommunicate you he will excommunicate you from the church for doing that you see that was this man why he wanted to hijack positions in the church control everyone a monopoly over everything he had the desire sometimes we i mean manifest or exhibit some of these character traits even in the in, in, among us ministers there are some of us because we don't want even though others people to be known to be men or women of god we will not give them our pulpit we will not we will not we become vexed when others are applauded and we are not as if we have been called to assume positions but that was the lot of Diotrephus. maybe after all these examples next time I will come, we will come to ourselves see what we are doing and what we need to do to check Diotrephus here can not say we are going to ministry any teacher, I hope one a small for no small one, you do an adjunct will be crab by a sorry on for puppet, Mano, and a former man, no baby, now manage, yes, sir. One here, only Nipa be who know, or no person will be leader, or can we be in Kambi, or Honum, to no be and Chebby be our. We are sorry about one, Monsieur Codia, who will be a almost here, Chris, a small for a small one, or be two Ephra, sorry, or be Pam, or be you, Ephra, sorry, that's one who could do, and Opeso, your mamma, I was sorry. Is it see? Why? We don't want to share. We don't have this word attitude of working with people to delegate. We can't do that. We can't work with people. Always want to go solo. And that was what is happening. Maybe later on, your baby soon, near here, then so your brother about the ACC and them reading here was say, Yeah, yeah. The last person under consideration today is somebody also in the New Testament during the days of John the Baptist, a woman who is called Herodias. 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 We read the account of Herodias from Matthew chapter 14, verses from verse 1 to 12. Matthew chapter 14, 1 to 12. Maybe you might not have time to read or take note of it. Matthew chapter 14, 1 uh, to 12. And in this passage, we read about this woman. And this woman lost the husband. And uh, the husband's brother wanted to marry, uh, to take her as uh, the wife. And I believe that, 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 that 
brother also that who, who, who was called in the scripture herod antipas or tetrach herod antipas wanted air but john the baptist will always be speaking against it that you can't have this woman to be your wife you can't have as long as i live over my dead body you will not have this woman and so he could not do it during the days of john the baptist to have this woman and i believe the woman also wanted to have this man as a husband and but john the baptist had become the problem the that they're torn in the flesh so what do we do it so happened that at a certain function occasion the daughter of this woman Herodias, came to dance and it really pleased herod and herod called this young lady and said what do you want if even half of my kingdom you desire i will give it to you and then the lady said wait a minute let me go and consult my mom Herodias went to the went to the mother and the mother told her nothing we don't need anything material there is something i've been longing for all these years there's something my soul so desire i'm hungry to get this man for me uh, for myself as a husband so, but there is one man alive as long as this man continue to live i will never have my hunger satisfied so go and tell herod that you want john the baptist head on a platter so the girl went and told herod this is what i want what could he do he beheaded john the baptist and they brought john the baptist head on the platter to this young lady and took it to the mother i believe later on they were able to i mean marry so i will buy you can want some herodias or perberry may be our worry now to your hand is born in it say and penny one meeting says i worry when you worry papa and men penis and muscle oh no so person when you're very main and so john the baptist obey oh how am i no penny don't john the baptist says oh you worry you worry that to obey a day to bring me by say oh he didn't have a say obey a baba because i might so he didn't or he didn't say because i'm new open what's what's some name if you open your room my indian crowd people move on me the bema was in my mind because i'm a mommy and so John the Baptist. And the two are you are also, yeah, the bra bowing, or the command of mammy. Jet to me say, be a woo in a chill, you'll be on bit my worry. When Yanya will pay, then so, and you'll be in quam. O be in quam. And oh, yeah. So, Herodias desired to marry Herod by eliminating John the Baptist. To your bra, what can John 14, 1 to 12? So, you see, maybe I'm about to end, but I've given you three examples uh, from. Uh, each of the testament three from old testament three from the new testament now we just want to establish the fact that hunger is legitimate feeling of the body or it's a desire which is natural but the way we satisfy it is something we need to really critically look at we need to consider because it's very very important the way you satisfy the way you get what you desire the way you get it the way you get it is very important. And as believers, and as people created in the image and likeness of God who aspire to make it to heaven, we must be careful how we satisfy our hunger in this life. We will always have it. And I will look at that next time around. We always have it. And I want you to consider all this we have said so far. Today happens to be a prayer encounter, uh, encounter service. But we might not have enough time to pray. But I want to leave these messages with you. Maybe you take the six examples I've given to you, each one of them, the lessons you can draw from, and you use that for your prayer point. And pray, maybe with your family, or if you are alone, pray about it. Oh God, I open up my heart before you. I pray that if there is any evil hunger in me, why don't you deal with it? I surrender everything to you. Deal with it. Because as human as we are even though we're supposed to be filled with the spirits but you and i know that sometimes we get into the flesh and we allow the flesh to detect to us 
and we don't obey all the details of the spirit and we do some things which later on we bother God with our prayers for him to answer. But God wants us to come to you and, t- and teach you some things so that if we straighten up our path, some prayers will be unnecessary. We will no longer pray about them because by our action, we will be dealing with some of these things. No man, no man, see, and then I go and say, Yeah, and counter service and pie ball, and yeah, 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 but no more way, yeah, 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 Se bibi se ensha si o mi mua, o mi mombo, ne rade, Jimmy, mi jai makuma, mi brani, mi bibi enyi na ashon. Se di e kriso ye ye no wani nsu we munu. E kombi e dimi enu, me chen ni me ti ewu. Ji wu wu kache mse brasu, didi, ne di e duyani wei, ena meye. Mi a mi ni e ni bi a, e ti a wan se me ti enye bibi a wa mi a ma hon odi me pe, e ni mi nyan se mu, e sa nse. E ni pe bi a ye ni oma sa, ne ne ni oma a ji wun se mu. Ebi amuye mi enu abisiya na mo ha mo mo mpaye e wo hono mo en se akono we bit mi dia prepare ye mpo abefie abadwumam ababusiam abasori ni mo emre wo bia pese onya akono ekom de no 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 afa ne kwan so na oja onya na no aduane ye nwe de onya kopon e de ema but let me end today's message uh by revealing some truths to you you see sometimes you might have certain hunger or i will call it now ideas you may have some kind of idea and it might not be uh, sinful it might be nice good very good intention very good desire very good aspiration very good i mean uh, uh, yearning for something maybe even you think for the glory of god but it's not every good idea that is a godly idea it is not every good idea that is godly idea and i will leave this passage for you to go and check it Remember when you read 2 Samuel, you have, when you have time, read 2 Samuel, the whole of chapter 7. And then 1 Chronicles chapters 22 and then chapter 28. 1 Chronicles chapters 22 and 28. Two chapters. Read. There you just listen carefully. Read carefully what David said. Because David had it in his heart to build a house for God's tabernacle. Or to build a, a, a house for God's, the, the Ark of the Covenant, a place for God. It was a very good heart he had. It was a very good idea. It was a hunger on, in the soul, in the spirit of David to build a f- befitting place for God, a nice house for God. It was a very good. So he called the prophet of the time, Nathan. He said, this is what my soul desire for God. I'm hungry to see God, tem- uh, the Ark of the, tem- uh, the, tem- Ark of the Covenant being placed in a very beautiful house. And then the, the, the prophet said, go ahead and do it. It is a very good thing. Bible says, at night, the God came to Prophet Nathan. Say, go and tell David, he will not be the one to build a place for me. He will not be the one, but I will allow his son to do it. And he will not do it because he has engaged himself in several battles. And the hand is filled with blood. He won't do it. But I will build a house for David because he had good intent. But at that time, it wasn't the idea of God. That's why I said, not all good int- intents or ideas are godly ideas. You see? And that's the reason why if there's any hunger in you, it might be legitimate like that of Jesus. To satisfy a hung- the hunger in the stomach was legitimate because he has fasted 40 days and 40 nights. It was legitimate to take I mean, some bread and eat. But, he won't, but it was coming from the devil because the spirit led him there to be tempted by Satan. And someone who is tempting you, providing something for him, you go ahead for it. No. No. It's not every good idea that is godly. You might have good intent for your family. You might have good intent for your church. You might have good intent for your future, for your children. Pray. Go before God. Take the resources Jesus used and find out whether your good idea, the hunger in you and the food you have at your disposal, which one will God want you to take? Make all good ideas godly ideas. And once you make all good ideas godly ideas, success will be yours. The Amidi we and say, and yet, I dream papa, me, I come papa, you win your name, you win your me, penisu. 
Non, mais ma place est dit, dit, quand il c'est quand Samuel, et en son, et ne, bresse ce moment, il dit, quand il dit, first chronicles, et Dieu, et Dieu nous, et nous, et Dieu 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 nous, Na mi ami si danya ma David. Nti wa hunu se. Enya adwe papa mpo bi a wo nyina ma wa sori. Wa adwe papa wo ma wo busua, wo ma wo hu, wo ma wo ma daachi. Nya ni nyina na onyame epene so. Ti dan na yebeye. Adwe bi a menya kom bi a wo mimu, atinka bi a minya. E yesse, se de Yesu de na me de kire yenfa normal mi ensan ma ni din kunim no. Eno ni de di kan yesu yebehwe, sa akon de mi ensan ye di beye adwuma no. Fa bon hum pa ye, chen yon yamin wong se rade. E kwa mdeme, e gyan ni bebele ne omenu, e gyan ni moudi e hina ape se midi. Se ni Yesu Christo, di en oye ya, o didi yon kouni. E basi ha, yen so, we will not make a great mistake. Ni pa ya, e ne yashe wong mou insi yin, e ye ye. God bless you, until we meet again. I want to see you living a victorious Christian life. And I love to see you always growing in faith, living for God. Even in such a time where we are all at home, we are not meeting in church, please don't quench the fire. Keep the fire burning. Continue with Bible reading, Bible studies, prayer. Continue waiting upon the Lord, meditating on the scriptures, and be a doer of the word of God. Can we join each other? So I know. Man, we see on your mirror, some woman pay. We need a bread drink, drink on your mirror, and some. Now we yet here on your mirror, some so extra. On your mirror, extra. You be sure of you. Amen. Some. Father, we give thanks to you today for your word. I pray for myself and for my listeners. Help us, O God, to keep this truth within us, to toss them in our spirits. And to obey your word. We are not supposed to be hearers only, but doers of the word. And I trust that you use this message, Lord, to rescue someone from perishing. You use this message to convict somebody that indeed there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof might be a way of death. That's why we need to approach you with everything. Boy, now you to be sure and come away, boy, any mray or so, you knew your wine so be peja in view. My young talk, a mania, nipping movie, a com be a dee won't, no man ye shimu, no man sank a won't night, and so mukutumu. We believe you will help us to retrace our steps, Lord. If we have reached a place where God, if we are not careful, we will fall because it's very slippery. Help us, Lord, to descend. Holy Spirit, fill us and grant us grace. Thank you for hearing us as I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.